Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the beloved legendary blind playthrough where I'm trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty without knowing much about it. And given how long it takes to go through it, I certainly don't know the fastest way through the game. We can already agree on this. Uh, we are taking the Prime Team, uh, which is fully equipped, ready and absolutely uh, motivated to take out the hive into a lair so let's see how this is going to go all right we need to destroy a spawnery which is either back here or somehow back there the fun part about it is uh, we don't know where it is and we have a huge weapon arsenal to make use of and instead of now trying to actually go and capture a lot of enemies i figured this time we're going to do the short version which is frenzy everyone and then beat the ever loving crap out of them one Two. And oh, fantastic. Look at that. We got lots and lots of sirens. Still haven't figured out where the spawnery is at, but we'll get there in time. Yeah, luckily for us, we can easily mow them down, even if they respawn next turn. Good. Moves up. And very much slashes through the enemies. Very good. Um... I think in terms of clearing the map. We're doing fairly well. Good. Ian is almost done. But almost is not quite because look at that. Some more onslaught. And whilst we're at it, some more onslaught. And that means Ian is right back to basics. Good. Moving down here. Uh, how do we get that guy? I do have an idea. Uh, 
strength moves up. Finds an enemy nicely located in there. Ian moves over. Kills that guy. Moving. Jump up, kill. That takes care of almost the last one. We have finally found the spawnery. Only problem that remains is this Terror Sentinel. But luckily we're not reduced to one operative. Instead Shattered Realm is still on the hunt. And I think we don't need to use our entire will points for resets. Instead, we're just killing him right away. Everybody is almost full at will points. Yeah, certainly Ian. Okay, well, just in case we're going to get ambushed. Um, look, let's just po uh, put that down. How good or how well can we actually hit from here? Not that well, apparently. We're trying the same thing over here. Ah, not quite. Wonderful. Good. That works. So next turn we can start actually hitting it with everyone. In the meantime, yep. In the meantime, we can't hit. That's unfortunate. Well, we can overwatch and end of turn.
Good. Let's see what our adrenaline rush is going to help us. Uh, not bad for the start. How about you try some more? Okay, that works like a charm. Good, all we need to do is just shoot it from here. Almost, not quite. Good, body is disabled. just going to bombard it and eventually kill it with the equipment and the ranged firepower that we do have this mission is actually surprisingly easy Drinks is needed. Same here, Ian just moves over. can kill both of uh, these uh, awakened zombies just so that they are not starting to annoy us next turn Two, three, kill. Hmm. Yep, 
Yeah, not sure if, if we need to do that. We'll see in a bit. Good hit. Disable the shell. And we're almost done. Good. The range firepower alone, I mean, we didn't even need to move. Keep in mind we're shooting quite literally across the entire map. Oh wow, 500 hit points. Good, Shadow Realm is moving up, and next turn we're just going to casually move out as if it would be nothing. End of turn. Wow, what a stomp! I mean, the team... I can see how we're still taking some form of damage. Cool, yeah. But generally speaking, we're just not really taking any damage here. I could have killed that last guy. And the sheer presence by running through the entire board in one turn, effectively killing everything. Speed makes such a difference, and we haven't even really used a lot of uh, a lot of consumables. Not a lot of ammunition or anything. We just went in, used our uh, sky, uh, scyther, and then the rest of uh, the team used their uh, weapons with unlimited ammunition. Yeah, and then we just in two rounds uh, killed the spawnery without them being able to do much about it. Wow, what a stomp. Very good, everybody loves us again. Didn't we build enough of uh, these already? I think so. Good. Well, what else needs to be done? I think our team needs to regenerate some of uh, their willpower. Uh, 
at the same time we need to continue trading so and yeah the other all of the other stuff is literally just uh, getting resources and research complete. but thankfully we have like eight research labs that are going to come online sometime soon And once that is happening, we should be fine. Poison resistance technology. Well, poison damage is reduced by half. That's cool and all, but Prime Team already has that. And the question is, are we really fighting that often against massive amounts of poison? Typically, we can just heal that. Typically, we can just heal that. Good. Let's start over there yet again. That and that, thank you. Okay, let's continue the eternal circle of trading. When one trade finishes, another one opens. Ten for two, that's not so attractive. At some point you have simply uh, traded with everyone. In the meantime, I think I wanted one more shotgun. I gotta be careful with our material. Somehow we traded ourselves out of everything. Mainly because we're also producing a lot of the ancient weapons and although they cost a lot of the new materials, they also cost a bit of uh, the actual materials as resources. But in terms of research, it's still taking quite a bit of time. Aliens, on the other hand, are not attacking anymore. I think the mist repeller is in just our scanning range has uh, gotten them quite 
uh, quite uh, pushed back. Good. Um, yeah, more trading. Let's speed this up. Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. Research complete. Good. So, new weapon. What do we have? Phoenix Acid Cannon. That's interesting. 10 times 10, so it's 100 damage, but 400 acid. That's indeed advanced acid technology. If we are shooting at anyone with this and the armor is getting down, they should uh, be shredded in, in like no time. Problem is, uh, the enemies do have so much armor on different slots uh, that it will take multiple rounds to just get through it. But I can see how acid technology can become quite potent at some point. Oh, really? Well, in that case, uh, be wait, 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 before we actually do something. Oh yeah, we're absolutely ready. Cool. In which case, this can continue to move to here. Why not uh, send the prime team, if you can? Good. Yeah, we want to keep that haven. We want to keep all of the havens at this point. No point. Uh, no need to lose more uh, soldiers unnecessarily, or more civilians unnecessarily. Two for twelve. Thank you. I always argued for giving New Jericho another chance. Maybe there was more to Tobias West than greed and self-importance. Maybe New Jericho could be a force for good after all. Maybe they even believed in freedom like they kept saying. I was wrong. For that, what? I apologize. But at least we tried. This is an emergency. We have identified a massive force of hostiles converging mm. on the command fortress. Your assistance is required. If we are friends, this is the time. I knew we could rely on you. Okay, what is ac what the is actually going on? So these guys are at war now. Okay, both of them have declared uh, war on New Jericho. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, well.
TMA2 is slowly moving up there, and then we're going to do that. John Stuart Mill wrote, Bad men need nothing more to compass their ends than that good men should look on and do nothing. New Jericho will no longer stand by. And well, fantastic. So, since we don't have enough problems with the aliens, we're, uh, we're now also seeing how each of them start to attack each other. That's, by the way, a stupid idea. Like, why would you start a full-fledged war when everybody is currently suffering? Stop the invasion, city upon the hill, stop the invasion. Well, fan-fucking-tastic, isn't it? Uh, Haven Info. We got a lot of recruits, but damn it, we don't need recruits. I need peace. The world is already bad enough of a place as it is. Now they are starting to hit each other. Ugh. Unnecessary. Good. Manticore 8 moves uh, there. And Manticore 4 also moves there in an attempt to be there on time, just in case something is going wrong. Holy smokes, everybody is starting uh, to, uh, to declare war on to one another. No penalty incurred for dark environments. I didn't think there was any penalty. Well, I learned something new. Apparently there is. Good, this mission here does not seem to be time critical. But these two very much seem time critical. All right, moving up. Do they all like us still? Yeah, sort of. And again, it does not feel like we've done a lot of progress. It's still all of the research uh, labs are still in production. Research complete. Good. Now, Missionary Center. Recruitment costs are reduced to 24%. Word has reached me that the disciples of Anu have begun training missionaries in an effort to convert more people before the Liturgy of the Divine Flesh. 
While New Jericho supports religious freedom, we hold that religion is a private matter. When religion becomes a tool of the state, dogma becomes a weapon, and grasping for the minds of our people becomes an act of war. I can understand that. That is good to hear. We must employ reason to understand the nature of the threat. All right, so Fort Lock would be our next big thing. But that happens in the next uh, mission, of course. Command Fortress is under threat. If we lose the location, we lose the war. All forces required to mobilize and support the defense. Must protect Tobias West at all costs. Um, City Pond and Hill. Seems like an... Yeah, it's a versus the Pandora. It seems like kind of a normal Pandora mission. But then again, it's one that isn't really timed, which is a bit weird. And I don't know what that fort does. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. So our second team is going to do that. In terms of research, Temple of Anna. Designed to prepare her for the arrival of the dead god and act as a transformation she calls Lethargy of the Divine Flesh. Uh -huh. Somehow I get the feeling that everybody wants to end the thing in a different way. Command Fortress is almost done. Then we do have the moon mission preparation from Sinidron. Which in itself seems like a clever idea. That advanced rocket technology, that better be good because 20 hours is a lot. And we still have days of research ahead of us, but, but, not as, uh, but not as much as I thought beforehand. We already have quite a, quite a bit of research ready. It seems like we're on the final stage on, in most of the research. And they have just started to hate each other. Interestingly enough, Sinidron likes the Anus, sort of. And they just don't like uh, Sinidron, but Sinidron declared war on them, but they didn't declare war back, so... Hmm. Yeah, we'll figure out how that uh, goes. Next time, we're going to defend Fort Lock, guys. So, wish me luck, and uh, see you in two days. If you want to be a defender of Fort Lock, now you need to hit the like button to give us some more guards in the de upcoming defense. Thanks, and have a good one.